for this devotional thought on unprocessed pain, uh, what I'm going to share should be a goal. If it's not where you're at now, then at least this gives you something to shoot for. That this is where you want to get in your life, in your relationships with others. The Bible calls us to love. And it doesn't qualify it. It doesn't limit it. That we are called to love each other. And uh, that can be a heavy task and undertaking at times where we're feeling hurt and we want to withdraw. And that's understandable, and we've talked about that and validated that in previous uh, devotional messages. So I uh, don't want this message to fall on deaf ears if that's where you're at. But the Bible does call us to that and that we shouldn't shy away from taking risk and from loving others. So with that in mind, I think that this uh, poem uh, really captures the essence of being a wounded healer and of just loving people and doing good and living our life, even though there are going to be setbacks and pain along the way that we keep taking those risks to love. And uh, you may have heard it before, but it's one of my favorites. It's called Anyway. Here goes. People are illogical, unreasonable, and self-centered. Love them anyway. If you do good, people will accuse you of selfish ulterior motives. Do good anyway. If you are successful, you win false friends and true enemies succeed anyway. The good you do today will be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Honesty and frankness make you vulnerable. Be honest and frank anyway. The biggest men and women with the biggest ideas can be shot down by the smallest men and women with the smallest minds. Think big anyway. People favor underdogs but follow only top dogs. Fight for a few underdogs anyway. What you spend your years building may be destroyed overnight. Build anyway. People really need help but may attack you if you do help them. Help people anyway. And then finally, give the world the best you have and you'll get uh, kicked in the teeth. Give the world the best you have anyway. May this be our prayer. May this be our goal. Uh, may this become our lifestyle.